accuser.
give me a second change for her. Okay, I know I'm not supposed to know, but I do, and I am so excited for you. Well, what's going on? Monica's pregnant. Oh, what? They're doing Oh, my God. Is that why you guys had to get married? <laughs> Guys, I'm pregnant. Monica's pregnant. Monica's pregnant. Oh, what? What do you mean? You, you, you're not pregnant? You didn't tell anybody I was, did you? No. I'll be right back. Now, why don't we get a shot? Just Monica and the bloody soldier. Oh, about that? Joey, you have to change the party. I can't. I don't have any clothes here. Fine, please. Anything. I'd have to say I died tragically in France. Oh, husband James Brown.
Hi. Hey, Doug, come on back. Liz, you want something to drink? Huh? You want something to drink? Oh, no, I'm good. Come on back. Come on back. Yeah. What's going like on? Like I told her the other day, I just can't afford these. I thought I was going to be able to, but with all my car payments and everything else, I just can't afford them. I brought them. I want to keep that one. When I brought them back, I wrote a little note to the uh, insurance company telling them I'm turning these back to you guys. She said that I would have to take out with them, so well, they've been calling me. I wrote a check last month, and it bounced, and I couldn't cover it. And they tried three times before I even knew, you know, so I, I couldn't cover it. Right now I have 160 bucks, and I can't, I can't, I can't afford that now. So well, I bring it back, and I wrote them a note telling them that I'm turning it in. But that's not, huh? That's not how it works, Doug. I can't turn them into you, and then we're way past the thirty. Here, we're way past the thirty days. Uh huh. So what's going on? And it's not that I've got the credit; it's between you and the bank. So what happened last month? Tell me about last month. Well, I, I wrote all my checks and I, I, I counted them all up and I had that $82 in there and I thought it should go through. I think it was like 30 40 bucks behind or something like that. But I must have been a check that was late cashing and when that one went in, it, it bounced it away. Right. And... Uh, with all the checks now I've got, I don't have 160 or the 82 or anything like that. Would you have it? I don't know if I can try to get the payment down or something somehow. If you can help me with that, I don't know if you could or not. Would you be able to have 82 for next month? For what? For next month. Um, I might be able to. Have you talked to the missus about this? Talk to who? The missus. My wife? Yeah. Yeah, she knows about it. But what did she she's say? She's strapped, too, so she can't really help me. I right. Mean, right. Um, and, yeah, I, she, what, and I do understand that making the big payment of 160 is tough. Because I know that that's what's really got you, is that you're behind now. Yeah, yeah. But what I'm wondering is, if you get from behind... Can you keep going forward? Because you said... I can try. Right? Um, the one thing that kind of screwed me up, I shouldn't have went, but I had my deer season, and I spent money that I shouldn't have had, but that, that didn't really miss the six, that $82 up from last month. I just kind of missed it up for this month. Right. But... Uh, I mean, like I said, I did try, and mm -hmm. I I thought it was all covered, but when it got in, you know how they just kind of jumbled around, it it wasn't there when that actually got there. Right. So we got we got two issues though. Yeah. One is that it's not it's not something that we can just return because it's a okay. It's a medical. It's yeah. Because what I want to do... And they called me the other day and I tried talking to the lady, but I couldn't hear her to save my soul. And how are you going to be able to hear when you go deer hunting? What, how are you going to be able to... Yeah, I know. That. Yeah, I don't have a batter in that one. I miss them, don't. Yeah. Not very good. And I took the batters out of those. Now, you're not going to be able to function without your hearing aids. So the what? Give me, give me two minutes. Okay. Oh yeah, you want to clean it all? Yeah, we're gonna get you, cause I got We gotta talk, but okay, you gotta be able to hear me. Yeah, I, I, I cut my ear. I, I can hear a little bit after I cut it. I know, but that's not gonna do it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I took the batteries out. I kept the batteries out the house. That's okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, give me, give me just one. Back second. in there. And,
Boom. <clears throat> hey. Yeah, there we go. That's better. It's a whole lot better, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So I want to talk to you about, because I do want to let you know that I do hear you, and mm -hmm. I feel, and I do understand. I've been in your position before, too, where I thought I had enough, and then all of a sudden mm -hmm. I didn't. I want to let you know, though, what I have already done for you mm -hmm. is we've already taken off four hundred and ninety five dollars off the big price of each one of those hearing aids we also build your insurance for almost fourteen hundred dollars and I traded in some hearing aids as well which we did get you all the way down to closer to about three thousand dollars which I know is a big amount if you look at it just as once. I think that's what the insurance company has me covered for, 3500 anyway. We're going to try to bill them for as much as they can. Mm -hmm. If they pay more, absolutely. But mm -hmm. I can't guarantee that, and I don't want to get your hopes up. So that's what I know for sure is about 1500 for sure, and I'm hoping closer to that amount, but I can't guarantee it. Mm -hmm. I'm still trying to push insurance through to get you more. Mm -hmm. The company who actually holds it, the ones you've been talking to, from now on... Comedy. Yep. Yeah. Comedy Bank. And I definitely... Comedy. Yep. I call them Comedy. I don't comedy. Know. Yeah. Com so I'm guessing you already know that number, right? Yeah. Yep. Cool. What my suggestion is, <clears throat> because you got it here, it's not just your, your ears that I'm taking care of, because mm -hmm. it's mostly your brain. I mm -hmm. want to keep you engaged. I want to keep you, you know, I want to keep you and your wife from arguing. I want to keep you safe when you're driving so you can uh, hear your yeah. turn signal, so yeah. you can hear your brakes, so when you're in the woods, you can hear what's going on in the woods. I hate to be like this, but your hearing is more important mm -hmm. than, than stuff. Healthy plan is generally pretty workable. Instead of trying to go with them about, hey, uh, how do I get rid of all of it? They're going to tell you it's non-refundable because it's a medical service. Yeah. What they can do, though, is you can ask them, hey, I want to work. I want to make sure I'm going to write this down. I'm going to call them again then. I would because what I would suggest is talking it over with your wife and figuring out if you can do like a payment of 50 bucks this week, 50 bucks in two weeks, and another one at the end of the month. Or if not, say, hey, I missed last month's payment. What can you do to help me make the payment? And they mm -hmm. might be able to split it up, like that 160 over another couple of months. But what you don't want is next month's payment, because you have to make sure, we want make sure November's $82 goes to November. You just want to make sure, like, hey, I'm going to, because that would give you some time through this month and next month. Maybe family gives you some money for Christmas, something like that. You could ask a relative or two. Say, hey, my hearing's really important to me. Can I trade you 20 pounds of deer meat, because I'm going to go nail a deer, <laughs> for 20 bucks? Because really what you're looking at is you got to put aside about 20 bucks every week for the next couple of weeks, and you can make that next payment. Because your hearing is your brain. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be picking, hey, the first, thing, the first thing that goes off your budget is your brain. No, that's not a good, you can't be doing that. 
that's not safe for you, it's not healthy. Because mm -hmm. I want to, I like having fun too. I, uh, I'm notorious for spending my money on my hobbies. Mm -hmm. But I, and I do understand, but we can't be sacrificing your, what's your medical health as the first thing off the plate. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. What I would suggest with them is we're going to ask if and it is <clears throat> It is going to be a little squeezy, but I think you can do it, especially if you just, what you really want to do is make sure that your November payment goes to November. You don't want to always be one behind. month behind. Nope, because then the it racks up. But I think, and uh, I want to say I know, Healthy Plan does understand, especially in COVID times, they were letting people do what was called forbearance. Basically, they go, oh, you need one month to catch up. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they do that for sure anymore, but I do that with my student loans sometimes. It's my student I loans. used to do that with my student loans when I was going to school. Yep. And then it finally got to the point where when I got disabled, they just wrote it off. I had to go three years. I couldn't. I had to keep. Yep. Oh, and I got paperwork every every year for three years, but they find out, okay, yeah, you satisfied all your requirements, but uh, let us look the other way. Right. But, because, yeah, that's, that's what I've had to do in the past, especially when COVID first came in. Uh, my student loan payments are something ridiculous. They're $383 a month. It's like getting oh, punched in the face. Wow. Oh yeah, it's awful. And that's uh, mm -hmm. that's mostly towards the end. You get punched in the face? Is that what you just said? If I didn't have to pay my oh, loans, I, I, I would I, let someone punch me in the face once a month instead of paying <laughs> that. So I do understand where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. What I would say, let them know. Say, hey, I do think I'll be able to make my November payment what can you do to help me? 160 is too much in a bulk. What mm -hmm. can, can I make three payments of 50 bucks over the next month? I just want to make sure my November payment goes to November. If you talk to them, they put it in the notes. As long as you put it in the notes, we can always try to fight for you. Mm -hmm. But they, they won't let you just say, hey, no more hearing aids because it's not... Okay. As much I as already I sent that, so they'll probably discard it. Yeah. And no, they might not even be able to read my handwriting anyway. It was just on a little notepad thing. Because what they do is, uh, it's based off of, in perhaps a good way, perhaps a bad way, in Washington, once you have the hearing aids, you can put them on your dresser drawer. You can put them in your ears, or you can give them to your dog, but they're still your hearing aids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I want them to work for you, because already I can tell you've leaned back in your chair about two feet. You're mm -hmm. not holding your hand up to your yeah, ear. I, you can actually I, understand what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And that's what you deserve, is you should be able to interact with other people without mm -hmm. having, this doesn't work. You can't be doing this. Man. You can't be doing that. Especially not with just one ear. You'd have to lean forward like this, and then you look really <laughs> funny. <laughs> what else can I do to help? Because I do want to help, but unfortunately, my hands are a little bit tied with the credit company. Can you call them for me, or, or call them and help me talk to them right now? I sure can. Let's try doing that. Um, that way. Ooh. Do you have... I can, but we need your bill because I will have to use your account number. Do you have your bill at home? I have it at home. Okay. I didn't bring it with me. I didn't that's even okay. think about I, it. I didn't think about asking you to either. Mm -hmm. um, because, yes, I would love to, but I do. And I'm sorry, I'm swamped this week. But let me. 
I've got tomorrow after four is completely open because that would give us time to call them and we can even stay late if I need to. I don't mind staying late because that would give us a whole hour to chat with them if need be. Well, if I gotta wait, I might as well just try to call them when I got home, but... Hey, well, if you can, where you're hearing is, please. But yeah, yeah. If, if what they say doesn't make sense, or if they say, no can do, mm -hmm. then we can try calling again tomorrow because it'll be a different, it'll be a different representative. But yeah, let's, I... Let's try that. Yeah, because all... And well, I got my bill sitting on my table. Yeah, because that's what they, you, your account number, I used to be able to look it up on my side of the mm -hmm. computer, but that's actually how removed I am from Healthy Plan these days. Mm -hmm. These days, I'm just the clinic ID, so mm -hmm. I'm the one who provided service, but if I call in and say, hey, I want to talk about Doug Powell, they go, are you Doug Powell? And I go, I've got him right here, and they go, give us his account number. I go, but he's right here, and they go, nope, only... Yeah, 179, I think. I had to write it down on my note, but... I've got the last four of it, but... Yeah. Do you have any questions for me? No. Okay. I'll just wait until tomorrow, that way... You, it, or tomorrow at four? Yeah. Okay. And then... Uh, do I ever make an appointment out there? Talk about this part with the missus. Ask your wife, hey, I know it's tough, but what can we do to, to do some payments between now and the first thing we got to plan for? We got to set that aside for next month. We don't want you to get further behind. I really do think we'll be able to put the 160 on pause for a little bit at the least but we got to make sure that november is coming or if they pause us you'll be wanting to make the 82 in november so that you're not behind that's the main thing is knowing uh, just from my experience with the student loans if you get behind you're just paying the behind and that's that's a bummer. I hate mm -hmm. doing that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I doubt she'll babble. I mean, she always bitches at me if I ask her for anything. That's but. what we do. All okay. uh, right. Yeah. I, I wasn't sure. All right. Thank you. I do. I just want to help you, man. Yeah. You're gonna. You gonna tell her to make it four four o'clock sure tomorrow. Will. I've got it all reserved off. Okay. But yeah, mm -hmm. we gotta we gotta keep you here, and I gotta keep you safe. Keep keep your brain safe. Mm -hmm. Get it right now. Down and now. So tomorrow is Thursday, and I'm gonna write. Ring bell. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah.
start. Bullshit start. Abuse start.
fucking gang stalker or not.
set it up to automatic payments. There it is again. Which means you're kind of a big deal. The Prime Early Access Day. Next Jose, our garlic guajillo recipe brings a whole new dimension. 